Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As we all know, our um, lovely love day is coming up in a couple weeks. We're talking about Valentine's Day. And I always like to try to do a video or project or two based on whatever holiday is coming up or special day. So this is what they call the heart dishcloth or slash blanket. This is from Sugar and Cream Yarns. Now it is an option to do this in a full size afghan. Or you can also see this is a multi-design. You can also use the sugar and cream yarn to make it into a dishcloth. Um, that is the part that we're going to do together. Um, so basically I'm going to show you how to do the square with the heart in the center. Um, and then if you want to pursue this and make that into a full-size afghan, then you can do that. You're just going to make more of these squares, and then you're going to join those together. Um, and there are several um, places on the Internet that will show you how to join those together. It's You can whip stitch. You can do several different things there. And then this pattern also shows you how to do that. Um, so, but this tutorial is going to be kind of like a mini tutorial. Um, it's not the afghan, it's just going to be the dishcloth part of it. Um, but I'm not actually making it into a dishcloth. Mine's actually going to be a um, sort of like a table setting. I'm going to make this for my husband, Chris, and send this up so he has something that I've made that he can put on the coffee table or something like that. Um, so um, it's going to be a fun project. And you will need at least three colors. And I got this from, it is called yarnspirationsdark.com. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if this website actually has a pattern number. Um, I don't see pattern numbers on this site. But if you go to yarnspirations.com and you type in heart dishcloth slash blanket, it will come up. It is a free pattern, and of course, I will put this in the box below the video down below here to um, link you to it. Um, so what I need you to do, you can either go and print a copy of this pattern or pull this up on your computer and work this pattern along with me. Um, so again, you're going to need three colors at least. It's up to you if you want to use that many, but I will be using three colors. I uh, will be using an H hook, which is what it calls for, and I will be using one that I've made. It's one of my camo hummingbird hooks. And as usual, if you're interested in purchasing any of my hooks, you can um, send me a friend request at Stitch and Stacy's Crochet on Facebook. I do not respond to requests on my YouTube, so don't send me any um, requests here on my channel. You can do that on my Facebook. So that is an H or a five millimeter hook. And then go get your three rolls, different colors of yarn. I'm going to use this, um, it's sort of like a, a dark hot pink color. Of course, you got to have that for Valentine's Day. And then I'm going to use a bright red. And then I'm going to use a cream as well. So those are going to be my three color choices. You can choose whatever colors you wish for this project. And go get this ready, and I will meet you back up, and we will start the project. Okay, guys. Let's get started on our pattern today. So what I want you to do is start off chaining four chains. And then what we're going to do is take our hook, insert it into that first stitch that we made, and we're going to do a slip knot and join and form that circle because the first thing we're making is the heart. All right, so what you're going to do from here is you're going to do a chain two, and then you're going to work 13 half double crochets into the center. This is not going to count as one. All right, so let's count these together. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and our last one of thirteen. Now you're going to join that to the top of that first half double crochet we made. Okay? Now, for round two, we're going to do a chain four. Okay? Now we're going to make the body of the heart. Now you're going to do one triple crochet in the same space as the slip stitch. So right here where we went in and made that slip stitch, you're going to do a triple crochet right into that same space. And don't forget to wrap your hook twice. Okay? Now in the next half double crochet, you're going to do two triples. Okay? So right here, you're going to yarn over twice and you're going to do two triple crochets here. This is going to start making your arch. So put two triple crochets in that stitch. Okay? The next two stitches you're going to do two double crochet in each. So in this stitch you're going to do two double crochet. And then in the next stitch, this one, we'll also get two double crochet. Okay. Now the next two stitches, we'll get two half double crochet. So this stitch, you're going to put two half doubles in. My yarn splits pretty bad here, so I apologize for moving so slow. That's probably good for some of you because I'm really fast at times. Okay, and the next one, two half double crochets as well. Okay, now we want to do a chain two here, and you're going to do one triple crochet in the next half double. So right here, we're going to do one triple. And that should give us a point. Okay, then you want to do a chain two, then in the next two half double crochet, you're going to do two half double crochet. So this one's going to get two half doubles. The next one will get two half doubles. Okay. The next two will get two double crochet. So this one's going to get two doubles. And the next one gets two doubles. Okay. And then the next two, um, actually, the next one gets two triples. So this one's going to get two triple crochet. So two triples in that same stitch. And then the next one gets one triple crochet. Oops, I forgot to wrap twice. One, two. See? Even us teachers forget. <laughs> okay, now here you want to chain four. Now you're going to slip stitch in the same half double crochet that you just worked in right here you want to go right back into that same half double crochet and you want a slip stitch that's going to make that pointy arch okay so now you look at your pattern that gave you a precious little heart okay so now for round three 
what we're going to do here is you're going to slip stitch into the first chain four space. That means right here where we did that first chain four, you're going to go in that gap and you're just going to slip stitch that closed, just like that. Then you're going to chain one, okay? Now you're going to do a you're going to do four single crochet into this same chain four space, okay? So one, two, three, and four. Now we're just going to build around the body. All right, now you're going to do one single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches, okay? So now we're going to go into, let's see, Two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so in this next stitch here, we're going to start that. So one, two, three, four. Let me grab my yarn. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. You should end up on that very last post before your gap space there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do two single crochet in that chain two space. So just go right into there and do two single crochet and that's going to add body to the point right there. Now you're going to do three single crochet in the next triple. Okay, so in this post here, you're going to go into that stitch and you're going to do three single crochet. So one, two, and three. Now you're going to do two single crochet in the next chain two space, which is on this other side here. So we're going to do two single crochet here. Okay, now you're going to do one single crochet in each of the next 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 11. So that should put you up at the very top. Now you're going to do four single crochet in the last chain four space, which is going to be right here. Okay? Go right into there and do four single crochet. So one, two, three, and four. Now you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first single crochet. And I'm hoping they mean down here, down into the center there. Okay? You're going to join right there. And I'll be back with you. Alright guys, round four. You're going to slip stitch in each of the next two single crochet. So you're going to go right here. Let me see if I can zoom in for you a bit. Alright, so you're going to go right to this first one, and you're going to do a slip stitch, and the next one you're going to slip stitch, okay? Now you're going to chain one, and you're going to do one single crochet in the same space as last slip stitch. So right here you're going to do one single crochet in that same slip stitch you were in. Now you're going to do one single crochet in each of the next two, so next stitch gets one, next stitch gets one. Then you're going to do two single crochet in each of the next six. So that's a total of 12. So you're going to do two in each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and last one, 11, and 12. 
Now you want to do one single crochet in each of the next 17. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Now you're going to do two single crochet once again and two in each stitch for the next stitches. So again, that's 12. So the next one gets two. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the last one, eleven, and twelve. Now you're going to do one single crochet in each of the next three. One, two, and three. And then you're going to fasten off here. Okay, then just pull that through there. That way it doesn't come out. Okay, so that's your heart, and you can go ahead and cut your beginning tail off. It's it should be secure if you um, uh, worked around it. And if you want to go ahead and work this in here, that is fine as well. That way you're not having to work over um, all these tails. Can go ahead and take care of that. So now you see you're left with a very nice heart. And of course, what better type of pattern to have for Valentine's Day? Okay, perfect. And that is the heart part of it. So I will be back with you and we will start row five. All right, guys, we are back. We are now going to work with our second color. My second color is going to be my cream. I don't want to add my pink next to my red yet. I will do trim um, in my pink. So I'm going to add my cream. So what you're going to do is you're going to find that first single crochet of your last round. You're going to put your hook in there, and you're going to tie your slip knot around, and you're going to do a slip knot. And you're just going to pull that right through there. And we're just going to start there. Okay, so we're going to do a chain one here. Well, that come all the way through for me, didn't it? All right. So now you're going to single crochet in that same stitch. Lock that in there for you. Okay. And now what you're going to do, you're going to do a chain three. One, two, three and three. You're going to miss the next single crochet and single crochet in the next, okay? So you're going to miss the next single crochet and single crochet in the next. Make sure that I got mine. There we go. Okay? Now you're going to do this a total of 22 times. So basically it should get you all the way around. Okay, so you're going to do another chain three. You're going to skip the next stitch right there, and then you're just going to do a single crochet in the next one. Chain three, skip the next, go into the next. And if you find that um, you're off when you should have done this 22 times, go back and take it out and do it again if you've missed a um, section there. Um, I've done that before when you first start up. Sometimes you may miss a stitch. Um, so just go back and just um, find where you missed your stitch at if you happen to come up one short. Okay, so you're just going to chain three and you're just going to skip one. And then you'll do your single crochet. You're sort of putting like a little ruffle border around it. 
and you're going to skip and then single crochet in the next one. So you're going to do this a total of 22 times and I'm going to complete mine and as soon as I've got 22 I will meet back up with you. We'll move right along. Okay guys, I'm back with you. If you're having a little trouble with your count, instead of joining right here at this one, try to join way up here at the peak. That worked out better for me. Um, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to understand some of the instruction. Okay, once you get to um, your 22, you notice you're still going to have uh, these couple stitches here left. What you're going to do here is you're actually going to jump over to this very last one. You're going to still chain your three, but you're going to jump over to that very last one and do your single crochet. Okay? So once you do that, you're going to do your single crochet there, then you're going to chain one. And you're going to join with one half double crochet into that first single crochet, which is right here. So you're going to yarn over, and then you're going to go in to this first single crochet for a half double crochet. Just like this. Okay, just like that. Now, round six, you're going to chain one. Back up my camera. Now, you're going to single crochet around the last half double crochet. So, this right here, you're just going to go around it and you're going to do a single crochet, just like that. Okay, now you're going to do a chain three. One, two, three. You're going to do one single crochet in next chain three space, which is right here. So let's do a single crochet. Okay. And you're going to repeat that around. So chain three, single crochet. Okay. Chain three, single crochet. Chain three single crochet and it's that simple all right whoops and you're just going to do that all the way around and then i will join you back up at the end of this round we'll join and we will move on all right guys i'm all the way around you're going to do that last single crochet right here and this is at the end of round six so what you're going to do is you're going to chain one here and then you're going to join with a half double crochet into that first single crochet so you're going to go right into that stitch with a half double crochet okay so you're going to pull through all three and end with with a half double crochet just like that then we're going to move on to round seven so round seven you're going to chain one right here then you're going to do two single crochet around that half double crochet. So you're going to go around this half double crochet and just work a single crochet. Then you'll do that again. Okay, just like that. Okay, then next what you're going to do is you're going to do three half double crochet into the next chain three space. So right here, we're going to do three half doubles. So there's one two and three now we're going to get into making sequences of, of uh, stitches here now the next one's three double crochet in the next and we're going to be working all in these chain three spaces so the next one is going to be three double crochet so one two and three okay now the next one's going to be one of the corners. So you're going to do two triple crochet, chain two, two triple crochet. So yarn over twice and go in the next one. You're going to do two triple crochet. So there's one, two. Now chain two and do two more triple crochet into that same uh, chain space, just like this. Okay, now the next one gets three doubles, so one, two, and three. The next one gets three half doubles, one, two, and 
to and all you're doing is just building the foundation for the square now around the heart so there's three the next one gets three single crochet so one two and three next one is three doubles one two and three okay then the next one is going to be three triples so one two and three now here's another corner so we're going to do the two triples so there's one two and you're going to chain two and then we're going to do another set of two triples so one and two okay the next one is going to get three double crochet so one two and three now you're going to do three single crochet in each of the next three spaces okay so this one gets three single crochet so that's three there next one gets three and the next one gets three okay now you're going to do three double crochet in the next one okay now the next one's another corner so you're going to do two triples so there's one two and do that chain two now and then two more triples into that same gap so there's another one and two then you're going to do three triples so one two and three then three doubles in the next okay and then you're going to do three single crochet in the next and then the next one gets three half double crochet and then the next one's going to get three double crochet okay and we're going to do this last corner so that's going to be two triple crochet right here okay chain two and then the two more triple all right then the next one's going to get three doubles one two and three then the next one 
which is the last one, is going to get three half doubles. One, two, and three. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do one single crochet into the first chain one space, okay? So that is going to be right here. So you're just going to go into here and you're going to do a single crochet and finish that off. And let me back up my camera so you can see what we have here. And this is what you have at the end of round seven. Okay guys, now let's do round eight. Round eight, I'm going to start off chaining three. That's going to count as a double crochet. Now you're going to do one double crochet in each stitch to the corner, okay? So let's go into this next stitch here. And you're just going to go all the way across. And now you're just kind of putting sort of like a border on it. And the corner is going to be where you did your chain two in between those uh, triple crochets. Okay, so once you get to that point, you're going to do three double crochets here. So there's one, two, and three. Then you're going to chain two and then you're going to work the other side of that corner which is going to be another three double crochet. Sort of like a granny square like we all know to do. So there's two and there's three. Now um, you're going to you're going to work that three more times from corner to corner. Um, one double crochet in each stitch around and then you're just going to do um, you're going to work all the way till you get to your next corner and then you're going to do another corner so you're just going to go into each um, stitch for a double crochet And of course, when you get to the corner, you're going to do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. It's not, nothing hard at this point. The hard part is over with. Which of course, in my opinion, was trying to shape the heart. So you just go all the way across until you reach that chain two. And this is going to give you more of a border foundation uh, for your square. Okay. So I am now at my ch next chain two. So I'm going to put three double crochet here. So one, two, and three. Then I'm going to do a chain two. Then I'm going to put in three more double crochet. And that's going to make your corners. Okay. And then you're just going to start working in the double crochet uh, in your double crochet again all the way across okay so finish that up and we'll meet back up alright guys we are at the end of round eight and once you get to round eight this is where you're going to join here at the top and you will change color so I'm going to fasten off here and I'm going to add my pink now and if you're worried about your uh, project being a little wavy it will be that way um, until you get it done and it may still be that way a little bit um, if you choose to use this as like a um, like a, a coaster type um, thing for your table or, or whatnot or if you choose to get it into an afghan and get a border on it it'll straighten itself out so no worries so I have added my pink now and I've slip stitched that so that was the end of round eight now round nine once you get that added, 
you are going to do a chain two. You're going to do a half double crochet in each stitch to the chain two corner, which you're going to basically do the same process. So you're going to go into the next one, and now we're instead of doing a double crochet, you're going to go all the way around and do a half double crochet. Okay? And then once you get to that chain two corner, you're going to make a slightly different corner. So there's a um, little common effect now from doing all the shaping. Alright, so when you get to the corner, you're going to do two half double crochet. So there's one, there's two. Now you do your chain two as you did before, and then you're going to do another two half double crochet to complete the rounding of that corner. And then you'll turn it over, and then you're going to be doing the same thing on the other side, okay? So you'll just go into each one of these and you're going to be doing half double crochet all the way to the other side. And once you get to the other side, to your other chain two space, you will make your next corner. And you will see as you put more of a border on, you will get a better, um, don't want to say flatness, but you'll get a better figure to your, uh, your square. But as I said, I'm not making a napkin or a blanket out of it. I'm just going to make a kind of like a table setting where he can set a candle or um, a picture. I just wanted to show you how to do the motif part. That way all you had to do was just make your motifs and if you wanted to do the blanket or afghan, you could just piece them together. So then you're just going to do a half double crochet all the way to each corner. Okay. All right, I'm at my next corner, so I'm going to do two half double crochets here. Chain two. And two more half double crochets. Okay. So I will meet you back up at the beginning. Okay, guys, I've gone all the way around. Now we are going to join back our original color that we did in the center, which for me was going to be my red. So I'm going to join that back and then I'm going to tie my little knot here as I always do to keep that secure. And we will be working on row 10 now. Okay, so we will do a chain one here and you will single crochet into this same space just to lock that in there a little bit. Alright, so now what you want to do is do one single crochet in each half double crochet. And as you can tell, we're working down the size of our border here. So you're just going to go into each stitch. Okay? You're going to go into each individual stitch and you're just going to do one single crochet in each all the way until you get to the corners. And this is nothing no different than we've been doing. We're just making our stitches a little shorter. Okay, and once you get to the corner, what you're going to do here is you're going to do one single crochet, chain two, and one single crochet. And that's going to be your corner. Okay, and then you're just going to move on to the next side and you're going to do single crochets all the way until you get to the next corner. and can't be much simpler than that. Okay, so we're just going to go all the way around and I'll meet you back up for the last row of this motif. Okay guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to join and we are now going to go back to our um, color three so whichever color you want that to be I'm gonna make that my white actually so I have separated I am going to join that there and tie my knot here okay and trim that back and this is the last round so now what they want you to do here is you're gonna chain two 
Now you're going to half double crochet in each single crochet to the corner. Okay? So it's the same thing we've been doing. You're just going to do a half double crochet to each corner. And then when you get to the corner, you're going to do two half double crochet, chain two, two half double crochet. Same thing that we did. Okay? And that would be it to this Valentine's Day motif. Um, again, it's part of an afghan and can be used also as a dishcloth um, when made just like what we're making it here. You can use it, the motif itself, as a decorative piece, which is what I'm going to use it for. You can use this part um, oops, as a washcloth has many uses um, so basically you're just going to keep going around and doing a half double crochet in each one of these single crochets and then you're just going to make your corner round and that's pretty much all there is to it guys and then you will have your um, motif and then if you choose to make an afghan out of this you're just going to make several of these based on the size that if you want to make the size according to the pattern that's great if you want to make your own size that's great but you will have to do your own uh, pre-measuring if you're not going to go by that pattern size and then you're just going to keep um, doing these until you get to the size that you want and um, then you will whip stitch these together um, or you go by the pattern itself and connect them by the ways of the pattern. So as you see, this turns out very beautiful. So I'm hoping that my husband, Chris, loves this. He will put it, of course, on his coffee table, I'm sure. And while they're in Iowa without us, hopefully he'll think of me every time he looks at it. And he'll put a, put a beautiful candle or maybe a picture in it, and it will serve its purpose. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will put the link to this again in the uh, description box so that you can go to the website. It's a website that carries the uh, uh, sugar and cream, the brunette, the Karen um, yarn patterns and the yarns and things like that. And I just thought it was very appropriate for Valentine's Day. So whatever you choose to do with this, whether it is the afghan, whether it is the motif to use as a washcloth or a decorative piece for a centerpiece on a table or um, anything like that, that's up to you. Either way, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. So until next video, guys, have a great day and happy hooking.